Well, hey, it's Rob, and uh, got all dressed up today to come on down and pay a visit to one of the premier recording studios of the South. Well, at least it was at one time. This right here that I'm pointing at and circling, this nondescript doorway here without the sign over it was Studio One in Doraville, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. Close to where I live. Uh, many hit songs were recorded right there, Studio One Doraville, and uh, it includes uh, a, a very prestigious list of uh, huge smash hit songs, including uh, Alicia Bridges' uh, disco classic, I Love the Nightlife. Uh, Starbucks Moonlight Feels Right with that great marimba solo recorded right there. Uh, 38 Special recorded a bunch of their stuff uh, there, including uh, Rocking Into the Night and uh, lots of their other uh, big radio hits. Um... Who else recorded there? Well, none other than Leonard Skinner. As a matter of fact, recorded right there, Studio One Doraville. They recorded their, you know, classic rock track, maybe the one the most famous rock and roll songs ever. Sweet Home Alabama recorded once again right there at Studio One Doraville. Studio Doraville was started by uh, the management company, I believe, that managed the Atlanta Rhythm Section. Uh, if you don't remember them, they had big hits recorded right here at Studio One Doraville. Uh, spooky, uh, you know, So Into You, Imaginary Lover, the Champagne Jam album. right there in that little doorway next to me and uh, so yeah I believe their management company started that studio the Atlanta Rhythm section itself were a collective of studio musicians that played around town and uh, so they would play on different people's projects and they would come together and play as the band Atlanta Rhythm section as well and recorded multiple records here six or seven albums here at least and uh, had some big hits as well so uh, there you go, there's your history lesson for the day. And uh, if you're driving by some, uh, you know, random industrial complex in Atlanta, you never know, it could be the place where Sweet Home Alabama was recorded. How about that? Right there. All right, maybe one day I'll get to go inside there. We'll see. Anyway, uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you later.